Welcome to Marker Board Videos. Today we're going to look at mole calculations, but specifically molar volume and STP, standard temperature and pressure calculations. So we're going to do this by looking at examples. My first example says how many moles of ozone, ozone is O3, occupy a volume of 33, I'm sorry, 3.36 liters at STP. And from now on in this video, STP is understood. We are just going to assume it's at standard temperature and pressure. Um, we don't, we're not going to write it down. Why is that important? Well, if temperature is, is different, um, just take a helium balloon that you filled up in your house and go outside when it's really, really cold out. You'll see that the balloon shrinks. Likewise, um, fill a helium balloon up in a cold atmosphere, take it inside, and it will probably pop as the gas expands. So it's important to know that that we're talking about a specific temperature and a specific pressure. Okay, so um, in, in a previous video I showed you how to do a no want and formula grid and that's, I use that all the time. So what do I know? I know I have 33.36 liters of ozone. That's a 3, not a Z. What do I want? I want to know the, um, the number of moles. I want to know how many moles it is. So I want to know moles of O3 and formula Anytime I see liter or volumes, this number is going to jump in my head. 22.4 liters is one mole. And the amazing thing is that's of any single gas there is. It's not just of one or two gases. It's of every gas there is at standard temperature and pressure. So uh, the, the general format that I always use is I start with what I know. So I'm going to write down 3.36 liters of ozone. And I'm going to multiply it by something. Again, sometimes you do end up pressing the division key on your calculator, but, but in my mind, I have to keep telling myself I'm, I'm multiplying. So I want to know how many, I'm, I'm going to get rid of liters of ozone. I want to be left with moles of ozone. And the relationship is right here. It's 22.4, but you see how the 22.4 is next to the letter L? I'm going to put it next to the letter L here, and there's a 1 next to the mole. I'm going to put a 1 next to the, the, the mole up there. So I have 3.36 times 1 divided by 22.4. And let's do that on the calculator. 3.36 times 1, I don't need to do that, divided by 22.4. And I end up with 0 0.15 moles of, o of ozone. Uh, the important thing, though, is to look at this is three significant figures, and this only has two. So what I really have is 0 0.150 moles of O3. If you're not sure how to count significant figures, go ahead and watch the marker board video on significant figures. It, it makes it pretty easy. Let's do one more example for this. All right, in this case, I'm just going to, I'm not going to write the problem on, I'm just going to write my no want and formula grid. This says what mass, so I want mass of carbon dioxide, occupies a volume of 1.05 liters and that's at STP, standard temperature and pressure. So because I have liters, I know I'm going to say 22.4 liters equals 1 mole. But because I have mass, anytime you have mass or grams, you need to go to your friend the periodic table. Now when I look at carbon, carbon's 12.0 and oxygen is 16.0. So 16, I have two oxygens. 16 and 16 is 32, plus 12 is 44. So I know it's 44.0 grams of CO2 for one mole of CO2. Okay, so that's just laying my groundwork. I haven't even started to solve the problem yet. I'm just doing the basics. Okay, so we always start when we do these problems, we always, first thing we write is what we know, and we know one liter of carbon dioxide. I want to get rid of liters of carbon dioxide. I want to get to grams of carbon dioxide. There's no direct way to get from liters to grams. I have to go through moles. So I'm going to get rid of liters and I'm going to move to moles. Now, I can do my problem just like that and figure out the number of moles of carbon dioxide. 22.4 goes next to the L, the liters. 1 goes next to the mole. And let's see how many that is. I have 1.05 times 1 divided by 22.4, and that gives me 0 0.04, what's my sig figs? 3, so I want 6.9 moles of carbon dioxide. Now I'm going to just move that over to a new line, moles of CO2. I know I want to get rid of moles of CO2. I want to be left with grams of CO2. If I use this information up here, right here, it tells me 44 goes next to the gram, and 1 goes next to the mole. So I take my answer and I multiply it by 44, 
and I get 2.06, how many sig figs? 3, 2.06 grams of CO2. And now I've gone from liters to grams. Now I did have to go through moles and to get there, but I've gone from liters to moles. I'm sorry, liters to grams. Thank you for watching Markovoid videos. Have a great day.